Police arrest hunters who allegedly killed three Fulani men. Three local hunters arrested by Oyo Police Command for allegedly killing of three Fulani alongside burning their huts on the 14th of March. According to the hunters, the incident serves as a revenge over the killing of a fellow farmer who is a friend and brother to them. The farmer, whom reportedly died on the March 12th by an attack by the herders, was murdered in his own house, took a sum of 25,000 from the wife, promising not to shoot them, but later go against the deal by murdering the farmer and made away with the cash amidst tears. The arrested hunters has been identified as Karimo Yusuf, Isaac Isaiah and Sunday Isaac. The following day, March 13th, another man escaped death by the whiskers as he was also attacked by the suspected Fulani headers sustaining injuries. The state police spokesman Fadi confirmed the arrest of the three suspects and the case has been transferred to State Criminal Investigation Department SCID for further investigations. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, This is pathetic because we allegedly killed three full men. Let me tell you, the police indirectly are indirectly working for the un for the for the full people. Yes, I'm just telling you now. Our Nigerian police, they are indirectly working for the full If you don't know. Our Nigerian police, if, um, let me uh, make reference to the crisis in Oyo for those that are very current because we have been broadcasting all of this through this channel. If you remember vividly the crisis in Oyo and um, what actually led to the crisis, is it not because of this um, Fulani headsmen killing innocent farmers? All right. This, there, there is this very notorious Fulani criminal in, um, in Oyoko Wakili. You know, they have been looking for him and they, um, they, are trying, they have been trying all that they could to apprehend him. Though the Nigerian police have, have all the opportunities, but they don't want to apprehend him. Only them know the reason. Hmm. It is serious. Okay. So, um, for God so kind, um, the Odua People's Congress, OPC, took the move and arrested him. And according to them, after arresting this criminal, Kowakili, he said of the Nigerian and handed, and handed him over to the police. Instead of the police to be grateful and appreciating the Odua people's that arrested Wakili and handed him over to them, they went on to arrest the members of the Odua people that arrested Wakili. The people that arrested a criminal and handed him over to you people for further investigation. You people mm -hmm. went on to arrest those people that helped you to arrest the criminal. Our Nigerian police, they are insane. They are insane. I'm telling you, they are insane. Because if they are not in sin, eh, with what the OPC has just done for them, it's enough for them to appreciate them for, I should appreciate them for it. What is the problem? Only for us to know that our Nigerian police has been working with this Wakili, the Oyos Police Division. That is to tell you that Wakili himself has been bribing his way out, has been bribing his way out of arrest. And that is why the whole thing is now looking as if it is difficult for Wakili to be arrested. If you go to the police to complain, why have they arrested? Uh, why have they not arrested Wakili? It is difficult to arrest Wakili. What a crazy word! 
It's a crazy statement to me. It's so crazy. I cannot take it. What a statement from a Nigerian police. It's so crazy. Eh? It's so crazy. What kind of a thing is that? If people cannot do it, so what are you saying? Okay, these people have done it. They hand him over to you people. They told you people to, have to, be, have to be grateful. You went on to, 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 to arrest them. And as the investigation was going on, they still discovered that our Nigerian police, that is how they have been behaving. To anyone that comes out to, 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 to arrest any Fulani and hand over to them. You see that? So, I am not comfortable with our Nigerian police um, system of operation. I'm not. I'm not. I just have to tell you the truth. I'm not okay with a system of operation. The way they treat people is, too, is quite disturbing. So they have been working indirectly with these headsmen. Only God knows what they give them. And you know an Nigerian police, police now, they are very, very corrupt. Too corrupt for my liking. You go and make your findings, you get what I'm talking about. You understand? Go and make your findings. This is what they do. Look at, look, look at the attitude they put up during the NSAS protest. I say that period, a lot of Nigerian police built houses for themselves. A lot of them bought cars because of the kind of money they were collecting on the road. Oh, damn. We don't have security. We don't have security. Yeah, we don't have security. What we have are criminals, criminal junctions. That is what we have. So let's tell ourselves the truth. Our Nigerian police are not trying. They are not trying for us at all. And one need to tell himself the truth. Because if we don't tell ourselves the truth, we'll be the one to suffer it. Do you understand? Yeah? So, let's hear from you. Let's know what your take concerning this news. Ah, if you are new on this channel, Give it free to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.